now uh, this is subjective solved example second function chapter now see we are supposed to find range of this function uh, like to find range of this function there's not a standard method that we'll be using here uh, something like in, in a rational function of in quadratic chapter you have done this like examples like this x square plus something something goes on x square that goes on the range of this the values y can take for x belongs to r find the values y can take right what you do is you cross multiply x press in terms of quadratic and then you say x belongs to r d greater than 0 you get inequality in terms of y and then you solve the inequality so something similar we are going to use here to find range 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 means the values y can take that's something similar to what we did in quadratic but we need to express that in quadratic first to do, do that to apply that approach we need to express the, that in terms of quadratic so what we do is we bring this cos in denominator and write this as y secant x and then we have sine on this side sine also we shift on this side whole square equals to square I'm doing square to remove the square root sign I have to make quadratic means I have to remove this so I have shifted all other terms to this side so that I can take square and get rid of the square root sign right and then uh, I open this perfect square y square secant square theta secant square x sorry plus sine square x minus 2 sine x and you know secant is 1 by cos into y equals to sine square x plus sine square alpha cancel sine square x with sine square x and y square I write this as 1 plus 10 square x minus 2 tan x y equals to sine square alpha and now you can see it is y square into tan square x minus 2y into tan x plus y square minus sine square alpha equal to 0 now we assume tan x equal to t to express this into quadratic form so it is y square t square minus 2y t plus y square minus sine square alpha equal to 0 and you can see t belongs to r you know range of 10x 10x can take all possible values this is the graph of 10x so range of 10x is y belongs to r so we say t belongs to r now this is exactly same as what you did in case of quadratic chapter right you cross multiply and express as quadratic in x and same quadratic we got here so see it is very it is very important that we should have 10x here had it been cos or sine we wouldn't have applied the quadratic approach because of 10x we got t belongs to r and because of t belongs to r we can say d greater than 0 right d greater than 0 means 4y square e square minus 4ac 4y square minus 4 times y square y square minus sine square alpha greater than equal to 0 right so it's necessary that this should be tan because tan can take all real values so quadratic should be in tan then only we can apply this concept we take y square out 4 out we have 1 minus y square plus sine square alpha greater than equal to 0 is always positive take minus common change the sine y square minus 1 plus sine square alpha less than equal to 0 sign of the inequality will change now we we can see we'll factorize it and and we can say y lies between y belongs to minus root of 1 plus sine square alpha comma root of 1 plus sine square alpha so this is the range these are the values y can take 